Hello everyone, this is George, the Unknown Traveller, and today we are talking about a wonder of construction, the longest segment of the bridges in the Florida Keys, the Seven Mile Bridge. The Florida Keys, a chain of coral islands strung like pearls off the southern tip of Florida, are a place of singular beauty and laid-back charm. These islands, with their unique blend of tropical allure and cultural richness, offer a sanctuary for those seeking a slower pace of life. The warm, balmy climate and the gentle sway of palm trees create an atmosphere of perpetual relaxation. They are a haven for artists, writers, fishermen and dreamers, drawn to the turquoise waters and the feeling of being a world away. The vibrant local culture, infused with the spirit of creativity and adventure, makes the Keys a magnet for those who seek inspiration from nature's beauty. Here, every sunrise and sunset paints a new masterpiece in the sky and the rhythm of the ocean waves provides a soothing soundtrack to daily life. Connecting these islands is a marvel of modern engineering, a ribbon of concrete and steel that stretches for almost seven miles across the open ocean. This engineering feat, known as the Seven Mile Bridge, is not just a means of transportation, but a symbol of human determination and ingenuity. It stands as a testament to what can be achieved when vision meets perseverance. This is the Seven Mile Bridge, a testament to human ingenuity and a vital artery of the Florida Keys. It connects the islands, facilitating the flow of people, goods and ideas, and plays a crucial role in the daily lives of residents and visitors alike. The bridge is more than just a structure, it is a lifeline that sustains the vibrant communities of the Keys. The Seven Mile Bridge is not just a bridge, it is a journey. As you traverse its length, you are treated to breathtaking views that change with every passing moment. The experience of driving on this bridge is akin to a voyage across the sea, where the horizon seems to stretch infinitely before you. As you drive along its gentle arc, the Atlantic Ocean stretches out on one side, a vast expanse of blue that merges with the horizon. The sight of the endless ocean, with its ever-changing hues, evokes a sense of wonder and tranquility. It is a reminder of the vastness and beauty of the natural world. On the other side lies the Gulf of Mexico, its waters shimmering in the sun. The contrast between the two bodies of water, each with its own unique character, adds to the bridge's allure. The Gulf's calm, warm waters invite contemplation and reflection, offering a serene counterpoint to the Atlantic's dynamic energy. The feeling is one of freedom, of being suspended between two worlds. The bridge offers a unique perspective, allowing travelers to feel as though they are floating above the ocean, disconnected from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It is a place where the mind can wander and the spirit can soar. The bridge is a vital link in the Overseas Highway, a 113-mile road that connects the Keys to mainland Florida. This highway, often referred to as the highway that goes to sea, is an engineering marvel in its own right weaving through the islands and offering stunning vistas at every turn. Before the Overseas Highway and the Seven Mile Bridge, reaching the Keys was an arduous journey by boat. The isolation of the islands made travel difficult and time-consuming, limiting access to the natural beauty and resources of the Keys. The construction of the bridge and highway revolutionized travel, making the islands more accessible and fostering economic growth. The bridges transformed the Keys, making them accessible to visitors and opening up the islands to economic development. The construction of the Seven Mile Bridge was a monumental task, requiring innovative techniques and the dedication of countless workers. Today, it stands as a monument to their hard work and vision. Today, the Seven Mile Bridge stands as a symbol of the keys themselves, a testament to the human desire to connect, to explore, and to build something extraordinary in the face of daunting challenges. It embodies the spirit of adventure and the relentless pursuit of progress, serving as a reminder of what can be achieved when we dare to dream big. The story of the Seven Mile Bridge begins not with concrete and steel, but with the vision of one man, Henry Flagler. A visionary and a pioneer, Flagler was more than just a railroad tycoon. He was a man with a dream that seemed impossible to many at the time a railroad tycoon who played a pivotal role in developing Florida's East Coast. Flagler saw the potential of the Keys and envisioned a railway extending all the way to Key West. 
the southernmost city in the continental United States. This vision was not just about transportation, it was about connecting communities, fostering trade, and opening up new opportunities for growth and development in a region that was largely inaccessible. In the early 1900s, this was a wildly ambitious dream. The Florida Keys were a string of islands stretching over a hundred miles into the ocean, separated by treacherous waters and subject to the whims of nature. The Keys were a remote and difficult place to work, with treacherous currents, hurricane force winds and scorching tropical heat. The environment was unforgiving, and the logistics of transporting materials and labor to such a remote location were daunting. Undeterred, Flagler poured his fortune into the project which became known as the Florida East Coast Railway's Key West Extension. His determination and financial commitment were unwavering, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Construction began in 1905 and was fraught with challenges from the start. The project required innovative engineering solutions and a workforce willing to endure harsh conditions. Hurricanes battered the construction site. These powerful storms caused significant damage setting back progress and testing the resolve of everyone involved. The shallow waters and unstable seabed made building a challenge. Engineers had to devise new methods to stabilize the ground and ensure the structures could withstand the harsh marine environment. Securing labor in such a remote location was another hurdle. Workers had to be recruited from far and wide, and they lived in makeshift camps under difficult conditions. Despite the obstacles, Flagler's engineers and thousands of laborers persevered, using innovative techniques for their time. They employed methods that were ahead of their era, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible in civil engineering. They built bridges over the shorter stretches of water between islands and constructed long stretches of causeway by dredging and filling the seabed. This method required precise planning and execution to ensure the stability and longevity of the structures. The most ambitious part of the project was the Seven Mile Bridge itself, which spanned the longest stretch of open water between Marathon and Pigeon Key. This section of the railway was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. After seven years of grueling work and a staggering investment for its time, the Florida East Coast Railway to Key West was completed in 1912. The completion of this railway marked a significant milestone in the history of American engineering and transportation. The Seven Mile Bridge, a marvel of early 20th century engineering, was the centerpiece of this achievement. It stood as a symbol of what could be accomplished with vision, determination, and innovative engineering. Newspapers hailed it as the eighth wonder of the world. The bridge not only connected the islands, but also connected people, ideas, and opportunities, transforming the Florida Keys forever. For over two decades, Flagler's overseas railroad, including the original Seven Mile Bridge, served as a vital lifeline for the Florida Keys, connecting the islands to the mainland. It brought tourists, goods, and new residents to the islands, transforming the Keys' economy and way of life in profound ways. However, the railroad's triumph was tragically cut short in 1935, when a devastating hurricane, known as the Labor Day Hurricane, ripped through the Keys with unprecedented fury and destruction. The hurricane's impact on the Keys was catastrophic and far-reaching. The small island of Isla Mirada was directly hit and suffered unimaginable devastation and loss. Hundreds of lives were lost, including many veterans working to repair the railroad, making the tragedy even more poignant. The storm surge and powerful waves tore apart sections of the overseas railroad, including significant portions of the Seven Mile Bridge, leaving it in ruins. The destruction of the railroad was a severe blow to the Keys, isolating the islands once again. The cost of rebuilding was deemed too great during the Great Depression, a time of widespread economic hardship. However, the need for a connection to the mainland remained, as the Keys could not thrive in isolation. The state of Florida purchased the remnants of the railroad and embarked on a new endeavor to build a highway upon the foundation of the old railroad, utilizing as much of the existing structure as possible to create a new lifeline. The Seven Mile Bridge, a marvel of engineering and a symbol of human resilience, stands today as a vital artery connecting the Florida Keys. It is not just a bridge, but a lifeline, ensuring the seamless flow of people, goods, and services between the islands and the mainland. 
Spanning the azure waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the bridge is a testament to the ingenuity and determination of those who built it, and it plays an indispensable role in the daily lives of thousands of residents and visitors alike. The bridge's importance extends beyond mere transportation. It supports the local economy by facilitating tourism, one of the key's primary industries. Each year, millions of visitors traverse the Seven Mile Bridge, drawn by the promise of tropical beauty, unique culture, and the allure of island life. The bridge also ensures that essential services, such as medical care, emergency response, and supplies, reach the islands without delay, safeguarding the well-being of the community. Maintaining this iconic structure is no small feat. The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, is tasked with the bridge's upkeep, employing a rigorous schedule of inspections, repairs, and upgrades to ensure its safety and longevity. Regular inspections are conducted to assess the bridge's structural integrity, looking for signs of wear and tear caused by the harsh marine environment. Corrosion is a significant concern, given the bridge's exposure to salt water and the elements. To combat this, the bridge is treated with protective coatings, and any compromised sections are promptly repaired or replaced. Additionally, the bridge's road surface undergoes periodic resurfacing to maintain a smooth and safe driving experience for all who cross it. The FDOT also employs advanced technologies, such as drones and underwater divers, to conduct thorough inspections of hard-to-reach areas. These technologies aid in identifying potential issues before they become critical, ensuring proactive maintenance and minimizing disruptions to traffic. Community involvement plays a crucial role in the bridge's preservation. Local residents and organizations often collaborate with state authorities, advocating for continued investment in the bridge's maintenance and sharing valuable insights about its condition. This partnership ensures that the bridge remains a reliable and safe passage for generations to come. In conclusion, the Seven Mile Bridge is far more than a physical structure. It is a symbol of connection, resilience, and community. Its continued maintenance is essential to the prosperity and safety of the Florida Keys, reflecting the enduring spirit of those who dared to link the islands to the mainland. As we drive across this engineering marvel, let us remember the history, the effort, and the dedication that keep this vital lifeline standing strong. Hey, please tell us in the comments what you like about the bridge, and please subscribe. This is George, the Unknown Traveler, signing off until next time.